So in this video, we're we'll looking at how we can use the rendering tool within Revit. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go into level zero and up the top here, we've got our 3D, our default 3D view button. Just to the right of that, we've got the little arrow. We can click on that and then we can choose camera. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop a camera uh, to create the view that we wanna see. So I'm gonna drop mine about here somewhere. So I left click once and then I can drag out, well not drag out, just move a mouse and you can see um, I've got the three veins. So uh, it gives you the width of view, but also the depth. So if I need to stop about here, for instance, that's as far as it will go. So what I want to do is make sure that the veins run past every, everywhere where I want it to see. So that's my depth of view. Once I've done that, we get this new 3D view one, and this is down in our 3D view section. So down in our project browser, we've got our 3D views. This is now our 3D view one, which is, comes in down here. So we could right click on that and rename it if we wanted to. Um, so what I'm going to do to start off with is just create the, the, the size of the image that I want and make sure I get everything in that I want uh, within the image that I want to create. So now we can start to see just by pulling these drag handles around, I can get it pretty much where I want it to be, uh, something like that. So once I've got this uh, camera view done, I can actually uh, change things within there. So in the properties box, for instance, we can change the height of things. So we've got our eye elevation, uh, which is currently set at 1750, and then the target elevation is set to the same. So this would be your eye elevation. So we could change that, for instance, to four meters. Click apply, and it raises me up a little bit, so I'm looking down on it. So if you don't like the... Um, the, the eye view, you can actually change it to this. Um, so I'm going to control Z that to take it back down uh, to 1750. So I'm going to leave mine like this to start off with. Uh, once we've done that, if we go up into the view tab, uh, just uh, on the left hand side here, we've got render and we've got cloud rendering. Uh, use the, the render one because it's, it's better. And uh, in here, we've got our settings that we can change uh, to suit our rendering. So at the top here, we've got our draft setting. Uh, or sorry, our setting, which is currently set to draft. We've also got medium, high, best, custom, and so on and so forth. Now, the higher you take this, the longer it's going to take um, with which to render within Revit. Uh, I'm going to keep mine on medium uh, for now, just because of uh, the time it will take to render it up. Um, other things we can change are some of the resolutions. Um, we can change some of the lighting. Uh, we can have uh, different exteriors, uh, different backgrounds. So you can just go in and change some of those um, uh, as you as you want to. You can um, adjust the exposure and stuff like that. Really basic stuff, nothing too uh, much to play with in there. I generally leave it as it is. I find that um, it, it's good enough if I'm just going to be using uh, the Revit rendering. And once we've done that, top left here, we've got the render button. And then depending on the speed of your computer and how fast things are going, will depend upon um, the speed of it. So this one's not going too bad. That's actually fairly quick. <clears throat> so the higher the setting, so if I change it from medium and go up higher, that will take longer. And then you can see in here, we've now got this um, rendered image. Uh, it's not great. It's not as good as things like Twin Motion or Enscape, but if it's just a basic rendering you're wanting, um, it, it does it better and it certainly looks better than the 3D one. Uh, once we've done this, um, don't just click out of it because you'll lose it. So if you want to keep it, um, you have to save it to the project. You can either export it straight away, so you could uh, save it as a JPEG file or a PNG file, or you could save it to the project. Um, and then this will come into here. You can call it what you want to call it, and down it goes. And once you've done that and you've saved it to it, down the bottom left hand side here, we should have our renderings tab now. This is a new one that's appeared, and in there we go back to our 3D rendered view, and we can double click on that, and it will take us back to this view again. Um, if you don't do that, then you won't keep this view. Uh, and that's how you use rendering within Revit.